morning gentlemen I'm going to Venice today in Italy and uh, I'm being chauffeured because my wife's driving it was raining when we set off near Vienna it's beautiful now temperatures beautiful and we're just coming up to a place in Filac spelled V-I-L-L-A-C-H and that's about 350 kilometers from uh, where we live just over that side there is what they call vertice. Good morning. We're not quite at our destination, got a couple hours yet, but we stayed here overnight in Italy. You can see right if I zoom in there the snow on top of the mountains there. I don't know if you can see that if it's focused in or not, but uh, the dolomites that is, and we we'll go all the way there, snow on top of it, and right there to the bottom. Beautiful day, blue skies, very warm. I don't know, it's early in the morning, it's eight o'clock ish, nine o'clock. Oh, she's happy, Lord. <laughs> she's a, a happy, Bambi. Hey, beautiful mountains all the way around. If I come right across, you can see them right up to there. That point, you can't see it's very good here. But look now, you can. Beautiful. Right in the distance there snowy mountains. We're not far from Trieste now, that's North Italy on the um, east side uh, just before Croatia. But my dad was stationed there during the war. Uh, he was in the invasion of Salerno and then he ended his military career in Trieste or military days. He didn't get wounded or anything but uh, I believe he never came out of Italy after World War II and came directly home from here. So here we are look. Here's the Great Lagoon. That's uh, Venice in the distance there. We'll show you a bit more when we get near it. Right, it's 11 o'clock. The bell is tolling. And we're on the 10th floor of the car park and there's Venice right there. There's one of them big bridges look. That's the main St Marco Square and we have got an apartment right in the middle there. We're just staying one night. We may stay two. Uh, we're just taking it one day at a time. See how it goes. 26 euro a day to park. There's no parking anywhere. You just can't park. So you have to park in a, an allotted parking place which we are in now. All right, so here we are. Here's the famous gondolas. Now, we've 
Looked in that building there, look, at the back of that big building. And apparently, according to the GPS, it's a 20 minute walk to where we're staying, and you can't get with cars because we're in Venice. So, uh, a 20 minute walk. We've, Alice has got big bags, Jesse's got bags, I've got a big rucksack, this big bag here. So, it's not going to be pleasant. Uh, maybe without the bags it'd be quite nice, but everything's weighing us down. And we've only been going a couple of minutes, so we've got about 17 minutes. So according to my watch, should be there at half past. That was 20 minutes. 10 past we started off. Uh, we're somewhere near St Marco Square, apparently. Crossing a little bridge here, look. Now, if you've ever been to Las Vegas, they've replicated this place in Las Vegas, and it's quite authentic. Looks very original. Not quite the same, is it? It's hard to believe that this place is built on stilts, <laughs> wooden stilts. Very, very old little narrow streets very interesting little restaurants here look maybe we'll come and try one of these passing over these little canals and the old houses down there but it stinks I can tell you that now we've got a flat like I say right in the middle of Venice here, I've got about another five, six minutes to go over there then. Now that flat cost us 55 euro a night. So if you guys want to do stuff like this uh, and you need some information, by all means contact me. You know, we've drove down here for about 60 euro or 80 euro maximum in, in uh, gas for the car. 55 euro for the flat, 26 euro for parking. So you can have a couple of nights here for two or three hundred euro, which is quite good, really, including your meals. Got to the end of the street and it's just water lot, so we're going down this way. We should be here any second. Gondola man. It seems like we're going around in circles, I don't know, but that's what it feels like. Jesse's trying to figure out on the GPS. Just narrow little streets, we're still going. So we've been 25 minutes now. It's going to take 40 minutes to get there from parking the car. So 45 minutes, made it to the top. And I'm going down. Right, one hour later, with all these bags. And a load of stairs to come up. I'm done, I won't be going anywhere today. I'm done. Got here, we're not supposed to be here till two o'clock. The cleaning lady's here, we're in her way. Just look at this place, look at the floor, parquet floor, look solid wood it's an apartment we've got uh there's a bit of a kitchen here look gas ring microwave that's everything we want water look at that mirror now watch this when i turn around just look at this look at that picture that picture is about six foot long uh, and about four foot wide it's huge st marco square the curtains that and the furniture it's beautiful, really. Big mirror there, look. Massive. I'll show you the bedrooms in a minute. 55 euro a night. This is luxury. This is where Jesse's sleeping. Look. Look, chandelier. Single bed. Parquet floor. This is our room. Double bed. Huge mirror. Look at that beautiful frame. Big wardrobe. Flecked. Uh, flecked 
mirrors and look at the drapes up and this beautiful furniture really stunning furniture TV internet everything 55 euro a night can't be bad can it so I don't know if I filmed this but we're in Venice and I'm literally right in the middle of Venice so no cars allowed um, beautiful place for 55 euro a night We've unloaded the bag, we've sat down, had a couple of cups of tea and uh, it's a lot easier walking with about 30 kilo less. So we're going to head off to probably like St Marco Square which can't be too far away. Right, just coming down the side street, I can see that building which I've seen before, and I know that this is St. Marco Square. Uh, wait till you see it, it is beautiful. The, the, the building is absolutely stunning. And this square has uh, flooded before. Yeah, this is it, I've been here before. There we go. So, literally five minutes from, from where we look at the look at the architecture, absolutely stunning. Absolutely. So I don't know how old this building is. I'd like to know. <clears throat> but look there, you can see the spouts where the rainwater comes down there. Look, those things sticking out. I mean, the architecture is just out of this world. Uh, I did film it before, but I only took films, you know, stills. Now I've got it on film, which is stunning. Absolutely stunning, awesome building. Now we're in St Marco Square, the real one, not the one in Las Vegas. Beautiful. <coughs> Look at the artwork. I don't know who did the artwork. Let's try and find out. I'll try and find a little bit for you on this on this place. I mean, all the pillars are different quality of stone. Look there. Look at the difference. The red ones, the white ones, the green ones. Beautiful, quite stunning. And the paintings, but I don't know how old they are. I will find out some information. And a little pigeon here, look. Just, uh, he's a little bit nervous, but you can get quite close to him, look. <laughs> I'm about one foot away from him now, it's not moving. There, he went. So oh, there they are. A little bit of film, then I'll take a photo, yeah? I do know down that way is a, a bridge, uh, quite a big bridge, what you walk over and then there's other buildings further down there. We'll probably have a walk down there and we're going to have a look somewhere. I'm going to treat these to a meal, sit down and have a meal. Okay, we have found the place. This place is really stunning, the architecture is really amazing. I've seen pictures of this place when it was flooded here, I'll see if I can find something and put it on to show you what it was like when it was flooded. And they're expecting a lot more of it because this old city is standing on wooden stilts, believe it or not. I think we'll go and eat over there. That's the bell tower there. That's where that sound's coming from. Of 
come on, look at that. Beautiful day. It's a, it's a bit blue, a bit grey, but it's not really cold. No wind. Actually in St Marco Square. I just want to show you this example. You can see all the delicate stonework there is perfectly intact almost at the top there but as you come down it's all worn away broken you can see it's broken there uh, and here it's gone uh, and there's a big scratch mark there about the same on the other side maybe it's where the wagons went through but I used to do stone restoration where where that up there I could make that look the same I could still do that now and make it look exactly the same special stonework restoration we used to do this would be something for my mate Rob who's still in Nottingham uh, I'll send you this Rob and you can have a look at it all the stonework that you could do here I mean I'd do that for free if they supplied all the material just to have your name on it you know on such a building like this look at all this delicate work around there that's all really intricate work and all the different coloured columns beautiful I like uh, I used to like doing stone restoration with my mate Rob it was an interesting job um, and the thought that you're preserving something for another few hundred years was a good feeling it, uh, so we're to the left of the main building now and I'm just looking at all this architecture all that work in the windows and all them you've got to remember when these were made there was no machinery so it's all done by hand it's absolutely cost you an absolute fortune today absolute they wouldn't do it today they wouldn't, they wouldn't have enough money stunning stunning work it really is honestly all these artists just imagine the work imagine just getting them up there hundreds of years ago everything's got to be hauled up with manpower the work around that window in the centre there, look. Incredible. Look at that in that arch, all that work. And look at all the statues on the top there. Probably bigger than human size. All got to be hauled up there. Amazing, amazing work. Stand for another thousand years this will, if it don't get flooded. Might be underwater one day, who knows? Now I've been told it's about 90 euro to have a go in one of these gondolas. Here's the gondola man lot. It's looking like we're in on a gondola. Okay, that's it, we're on a gondola. And that's the man. No problem, no problem. Okay, boy, sorry, open. Okay, okay. okay. seat belts. silver and gold. Everything. Beautiful things. Is this a real gondola? Isn't this too big? No, this is, no, the massive gondolas are. Really? Yeah, yeah. No, sorry for a red pilot. Here? Chair. This chair? This is it. There's too much weight on that side. Balance. Yeah, yeah. Balance, different yeah. balance, no problem. Okay. It's amazing, really. How we can. Uh, do this have no motor? Just, no, just do it with it all, one or at the back. So I'm going to turn around and video it. <laughs> That's hard work. Just come under that bridge. So, uh, and St Marco Square is over that way, 100 metres or so. So, we're going down the canals between the streets now. Big high arch there. I mean, the architecture is absolutely stunning. Slowly sinking according to uh, surveys. See where 
the water coming up too because it's green there and uh, you know we've been passing a few doors at, at water level like this one coming up now look there's a door coming up now and that must be the entrance and you can see that the water line is way up so I would imagine a few hundred years ago it would be a lot further down. Fellows with lights on. And all mussels on there, little mussels. I won't eat any mussels from here though. There's another doorway. Look. Right. I must admit it's a bit of an experience I never thought I'd have. Um, Alice goes for things like that and when she does I'm glad she does because it's a different experience. Look at the beautiful gold work on this gondola here, look very beautiful. Okay. 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 So he's, he's going to stop at the ATM and Jesse's going to get some cash to pay him with. There's a boat coming up at the side of his lot. So somewhere here is an ATM. Bricks, plasterboards, plaster, all building materials come by boat up. <laughs> Really dilapidated many of these buildings. This will be the old entrances. Look, they've added a row of brickwork in there because obviously it's gone over the top. <coughs> really old entrances. There's an old entrance coming up on, on this side here, look, you see, and you can see the steps leading up to the doors. But the bottom of the doors are absolutely wrong, because the water line goes up above the door. Here's another one. Stinks a little bit. But it's not bad. See, there's a little sign that I like. Can you see that look? See how it's dropping there, look. Yeah, there, look, crack. I was looking at this cornice work here, and it, and it was dipping down this end. And I said, look, there's a sign. And when I looked, there was a crack below it, you see? So it's collapsing, there. I remember watching something about Venice with John Cleese. I'll see if I can find it and put it on here. It was quite funny. So I think basically what's happened is we've gone round in a big circle. And in a few minutes we'll be uh, coming back out to the open, open sea or open bay, wherever it is again. Very narrow. It's only about eight foot across this. It's ten foot maximum. Uh, and yet you can steer this quite good without catching the sides. Stinky poo here, yes. But it reeks a bit here. That's incredible. Look how close he is to that thing and he's not touched it. He's just got round it perfect. So there's our gondola going and that's the guy that helped us. <laughs> so back in San Marco Square, walking down here, look at these vaulted ceilings, beautiful craftsmanship, what craftsmanship. Now this song 
they used to play in Vegas and it was a blind Italian singer. I'm just trying to think of his name. Who's that blind Italian singer? Stevie Wonder. Oh, Stevie Wonder's Italian, is it? Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> blind Italian guy who sings. No, no, he wants blind. It don't matter, I'll find out. That, that's the song he's playing and I heard that song in Las Vegas too, beautiful it was, when the fountains was going in Las Vegas. Just look at the size of that glass. I asked for a big beer, I didn't realise it was going to be that big. I'm practically pissed now and I'm, only, I'm not even two thirds of the way down it yet. Okay, two meals have come and it's got spaghetti. Jesse got a uh, cannelloni. And here's mine. Here we go. So I've got my lamb chops, I've got potatoes there. Here we go. Architecture never meant anything to me when I was a kid, but it does now when you see the amount of work that goes into doing something. And when you think how old it is, maybe this building's three, four, five hundred years old. So uh, it would have been a lot harder then. Beautiful. Famous bookshop, apparently. That's like a staircase here. Everything's made of books. Look, I don't know if you can see there. They're all books. And look here, look. Cool. It's different. Yeah. Yeah. Shop is like a I don't know how the hell he got all these books here, but just millions of them. Beautiful, really. It is beautiful. It's unique, very, very unique place. Greenish water, emerald green. Massive bridge here, though. about 30 foot long. We haven't been over this one yet. I'm just checking out the shop from the stop, have something to eat, drink in a bit. So this is the main bridge over the Grand Canal. Huge, quite huge. So they're just going up right at the top, they'll be up there somewhere. Yeah, there they are waving now. Beautiful. Uh, we didn't come here before. Look at gondolas everywhere. Private boats, delivery boats, everything. Really beautiful. I wonder how deep this is. Be interested to know how deep it is in the middle. So, going up over the Grand Canal on the Grand Canal Bridge. <laughs> wow, well, stunning.
lots of horse shops down here and down that side. There's a speed limit on here. Uh, I think for commercial boats it's uh, 11 knots. Uh, anybody else it's 8 knots. And, if you, and they have speed traps here, believe it or not. I saw it on a video last night. Please come out and they set up speed traps on, on these side things. And they get big fines. There's a plaque here telling you when this was built but it's in Roman numerals, MCLXX, so find out what year that is. So Alice has worked it out roughly 1561 this was built, so 500 years. It's a little bit foggy look, a little bit of a mist on, it's a bit surreal. Massive feat of engineering that, especially if it was done in 1561. It's, oh, I don't know, 100 foot across there. Easy. Well, you can see there's the people up there on the bridge. You see how big it is. Got to show you this. I think this building's actually sinking because the, look, the doors are below the water level there, and you can see the corner of the building is below high tide water level. I'm, I'm assuming it's high tide. So if there are cellars there, then that's that's uh, filling up. I'll show you something else I've just noticed. When you walk around the side of this building here and look at the building, you can see it's off centre. Uh, uh, look at the corner of that building up there. Uh, it's not straight. It's, uh, it's definitely leaning in that way. That building is definitely leaning in there. Oh my God, it's leaning a long way, that is. And maybe it's unstable. It'd be interested to see the other side of it. I bet there's a few cracks on the other side, or maybe even here. There again, look, you can see the other side of the building. Right now, I can prove it now. You see this column, look. I'm going to line that column up with the next column behind, uh, and you'll see. Oh, there's three inch difference from top to bottom there. If you follow that line up, look, there's three inch difference. That's leaning in that way. Wow. This is the fish market, look. This would be cool. I like places like this. Oh, scallops. Eighty a kilo, I think, which is not bad. Four forty euro a pound. Grey shrimp, mussels. I wonder how much mussels are. I'm not sure I'd want to eat them from here though, it's the local. That massive clock up there, it's only got one hand, 24 hour clock.
impressive. There's a big eagle. Like a little courtyard lot. On the way back to the car now and then back up. So the streets are practically empty. There's another bridge up ahead so there'll be a canal there. Uh, and right in the middle of Venice. Coming up on what may be the last canal, I'm not sure. I think I'm not sure which way we're going down here. Okay, not going over the canal. Following it along. So 10 to we set off, it's half past now nearly. That's 40 minutes we've been walking with all these bags and stuff. It really is a trek, you know, could have caught a, a boat taxi, 60 euro, so it must be somewhere near now, yeah, look at that portico there, look beautiful, very Roman style. Well, it's looking like we've made it just over this bridge and we're there, I think. So this will be the last canal on foot anyway. I don't know if this is the Grand Canal or what. I don't think it is. it's not wide enough. So that's going out to the lagoon. That's going into the city. So it's 10 to 2. Um, the day after we put the car in here. We put the car in here 12 o'clock yesterday. And it's cost 52 euro. There we are, look. 52 euro for one day's parking. 26 hours to be precise. Last day in Venice. Did I say that or did I say Vienna? Uh, and uh, Jesse just told me Sean Connery's died. So um, that's a shame. 90 years old. Yeah, he had a good innings. But uh, always a shame. You always think these people are just endless, but he's not. And it will come to us all in the end. I don't know if you can see the mountains here in the background, look all the way around. Big mountain with snow on there. All the way around. We're amongst the uh, mountains now, going through the passes. Bed. Look, look at that. All shale and shingle. That would be awesome to uh, to pan that. I would really like to pan that. Long way to come though. the sun. I don't know how far it is on this one telling me it's 70 kilometers to the border but that's quite a few kilometers yeah, back. So oh here, here we are now. Just look at them mountains here look. Absolutely stunning. Look at that. Snow on the top look. Wow beautiful. Just look at that look. Oh, <laughs> this tunnel was really long. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Jesus, beautiful. We just crossed the border, back in Austria. There we go, it's there, look. Absolute stunning scenery. 